We are Women's Action Against Sexual Violence. Our mission is to protect, support, and advance women's sexual rights in Sierra Leone. To do this, we will dedicate our resources to ending sexual violence, educating women and men in sexual health and protective measures, and ensuring safe communities by 2025. We plan to set up necessary and easily accessible programs so that young people and women are not vulnerable to human trafficking and so that they can find a safe source of income. The issue of violence can also be seen manifesting itself throughout the country, and lack of education and current cultural traditions and viewpoints are causing 90% of women aged 15 to 45 ex to experience female genital mutilation. With the overwhelming evidence of the issue, the country is thankfully taking some action to help these victims. This past spring, President Bio declared a national emergency over sexual violence and plans to make the act of having sex with a minor punishable with life in prison. Our organization both expands on these ideas, create, creating new initiatives to ensure a decrease in cases, and works with policymakers to discuss criminalization of many of the dangerous actions that harm so many women in Sierra Leone. My name is Abdul Amaruf, and I'm a part of the Women's Action Against Sexual Violence Organization, also known as WAASV. The first objective of our organization is to create a safe job network that allows women to avoid the schemes and scams of human traffickers, while also educating them on some threats that can lead to human trafficking. We plan to do this by establishing a small-scale hiring agency, beginning with just one community in Sierra Leone, for women that will perform background checks on employers to determine their legitimacy. In this community, we will educate women on what human trafficking looks like and how they can detect it. Our risks include employers disagreeing with the background checks and communities opposing the education due to lack of trust from outsiders. But we plan to mitigate these risks by only focusing on employers who will allow background checks to be done while also employing women of Sierra Leonean descent who are educated in human trafficking to be the direct educators and liaisons between the community and the WASV. Our first measure of success will be actually finding a community willing to allow us to assist them in employment and human trafficking education because there is a lack of trust for outsiders. The objective is to educate men and women on the dangers of sexual assault and violence as well as to criminalize all cases of sexual assault. Our first activity involves hosting a community workshop in which men and women of the community can come out to share experiences and educate each other on sexual assault. Our second activity involves working with policymakers to create a law that criminalizes all sexual assault cases. Uh, one potential risk is that a culture supporting female genital mutilation um, rejects the teachings and then persecutes those who go against the teachings, which makes a hostile environment. Uh, another risk is that with the absence of female genital mutilation comes a new form of abuse used to suppress the sexual freedom of women. Um, Risk mitigation depends on whether or not female genital mutilation becomes outlawed and properly enforced. If so, there will be a greater focus on creating a cultural aversion towards genital mutilation, which may result in community members taking a personal action to end female genital mutilation. Our third objective is to educate women and men on the issue of female genital mutilation, or FGM. To reach this goal, we would like to partner with the Amazonian Initiative Movement, or AIM, which runs schools that teaches FGM like any other subject. We would like to provide classes in local communities that focus on general literacy as well as the dangers and other problems with FGM. These classes would focus primarily on gearing towards older illiterate women who generally perform the FGM procedures. Potential risk for this intervention would be that general community members may be mistrustful of the information and of the classes in general, since an unfamiliar and new organization would be coming in to provide this intervention. So to mitigate this risk, we would have local teachers or other community members teach the classes so that the community may be more trustful of the information and the intervention in general. A measure of success in the short term would be the number of people that are attending the classes, and in the long term it would be the instances of FGM over time. In order for us to reach our goals, we have a list of objectives and activities to follow. Our first objective is to educate women on potential threats of human trafficking and create a safe job network for them. In order to do this, we'd be in contact with a hiring agency, which would establish a network. The hiring agency would take up to a year to partner up with, but to build a large network would require some time. Our second objective is to educate women and men on the dangers of sexual violence and rape. Our first activity for this is to 
host community workshops in which female members of the community meet on one day and men meet on another day to talk about sexual assault and reduce its likelihood. The workshops would only take months to establish, but again, it would take up to five years to begin making an influence on the community. The next activity is to work with policymakers to create a law that criminalizes sexual assault. This could take anywhere from one to three years. Our third and final objective is to educate women and men on the overall dangers of female genital mutilation. To do this, we would host classes for illiterate women to become educated, which would take less than a year to establish. Additionally, we'd seek to establish a partnership with the Amazonian Initiative Movement to receive funding from them to host more classes. This would take anywhere from two to four years. As we can see, we can begin our activities in less than a year in most instances, but to make change, it takes time. Thank you.